one of my favorite times today it's package time so here we have actually let's get one of these out because um one of the viewers Anthony recommended these and i thought yeah as soon as he sent them i thought yeah get one of them and then what i've also ordered so what this is is when we're plastering so that plastering job we've just done that was a nightmare you couldn't see anything um literally you can twist these round in any sort of direction and i just thought yeah that makes sense when you're plastering and because these are euro i've also bought an adapter that can take um the british standard ones obviously the two pin ones so that way put the adapter on and then um I got two of them because more than likely, similar to like the job we were, me and Ben were on, um, more than likely you'll be plastering more than one area. So, and they were only, you know, 20, 20, something, 20 something quid, I think. And obviously if it makes it 10 times easier, plastering is that. Uh, I don't know whether it was one of the episodes that um, we were using the gun to fit the headers fencing and they weren't deep enough, so I've bought some deep socket um, connections because, I say, if we can use the Ryobi gun for that. Uh, the time-lapse cameras, I've bought some brackets um, just so make it quicker to set them up. So we can put a bracket up maybe in the corner, one of the shoot, the rip-out job now, and then once we've cleared the ground floor, everything will be getting um, done from the same angle, the same bit. Um, one of the episodes where we used the jet wash and someone had like stood on the jet wash and it had like a hairline crack here. I was putting like PTF tape round here thinking it was coming from there and it was actually like a hairline crack. So I couldn't actually find a new one of these. I've paid 20 quid for this second hand one, but yeah, if it, um, if it means we can use the jet wash again, then great. Uh, one, two, three bags. So I ordered some more straps the bits off them and then there'll be one viewer who knows what this is because i've bought it off them so one of the viewers ben um was watching us cut the gates on the yard with um the angle grinder and he bought this uh, and it wasn't suitable for what he needed so i got this on off him on facebook marketplace uh, i have seen these and i was looking at getting one but we just weren't cutting enough metal but now we've got the yard, so it works similar to um, a MIG welder. So you've got the earth clamp and then um, the only thing I haven't seen is, do you actually use like a stick? Um, I've not used one of these yet. So this one doesn't need gas, it's got an uh, integrated compressor. So hopefully uh, it'll be enough for what we need. And then here's the call out company. Hello. Hello, Andy. Hi, you okay? Hi, I'm good, thank you. I have a job for you in L12, 300 pounds per hour. L12, let's have a look. Yeah. I had a plumbing issue early on and turned the mains off in order to repair it. He then turned on the mains, <laughs> but they have no running water in the house. It must be an airlock. So as you've just seen, I was uh, in the way, in the in the middle of a uh, obviously going through my parcels that I've had delivered over the weekend, and I've got a call out. And do you know what? I've just been to watch the Liverpool match, and you know, good results against Man United three 0 And one of the benefits of drinking zero percent Guinness is that I've come home and I can go to a corner whereas I would have otherwise been over the limit probably so it's good to I can uh, I can do that although Rich was not too happy because I said I was gonna put Anderson down to bed and now I've had to shoot out to obviously do this call out so hopefully it's a quick one I might get back before he gets to bed but we'll see it says on the on the memo you turn the water off to fix 
uh, plumbing issue and then now they put the water back on and there's no water and they, they think on the thing it's down as an airlock but in a domestic house I'm wondering whether they've just damaged the stopcock is what my initial thing is um, you know whether they think they turned it on or they're not other than that so they've got a sure stop on, but they've turned that off. I can hear that working, and I can feel, and I could hear water before running through this. Um, something next I could do is turn this off and pull this off and double check that. But I'm just going to check now in the loft, if they've got a loft tank that feeds the water because you'd expect this to be on now then. I'm sorry, it's not now. So we fixed it now and what it was, I don't actually know, I still don't know how these work. <laughs> I've, just took it, I've just took it apart and I've still got no idea how it works but it was, do you want to take that away with you? There's a bit of a case study when you get five, you can... Do you know what? I've, I've, I've literally looked at it inside. I'll just have to go on here. Uh, I'll go on... it all off if you want the whole system. I'll go on YouTube and... Um, we're, not, we're not using it again now. And it's <laughs> see. Um, I'll go on, yeah. I'll take it. I'll probably put some connect water to it and see if we can get it... Understand how it works, but... Just one thing I've seen. I have seen a video on them, but I don't really understand now the... I've just I've just took that out then, I don't understand the internal yeah. mechanism of it. But yeah, basically that was broke these short stop ones, which these they're good because obviously uh this stop taps behind two drawers and if water comes flying out you don't want to be uh, taking drawers out to thing it or if a plumber comes in and you're away on Aldi and he won't he won't he wouldn't have a clue that it was behind there, yeah. I didn't even know it was behind there. Do you know what they should have a generic Location for stock taps, yeah. but the difference in every single house. I can't believe that we've had a few problems now, though, where like, I've had to get access to and yeah. it's going to be all for plates. Mm -hmm. So, and the other thing is where the toilet is, so we had to take tiles off today because they boxed in yeah. everything behind all the tiles. And you know, it's like it's never when the extension's just built behind the problem, it's two years after, isn't it? So yeah. It comes off personally. Right, that one's all done. Um, it was a fairly easy one to be fair. I mean, from the description, it makes sense now that they had a show stop and that's just gone faulty. He's actually given me the show stop. So I'm gonna take that apart when I get in. And, oh, I didn't get the other bit off him though. <laughs> the actual button there. <laughs> so, there's not much I can do with it then to test it. Maybe I should get a new one and have a look at it. Just educate myself how they work. Right, that's it. I need to go back now and unless I get any more while I'm out, I'm gonna go back, go to bed and prepare for tomorrow. We've got the rip out to finish. So I've sent the lads, obviously the payments up to up the, the invoices up to date and they can see what's left. I think they've got just over two grand left because they've done um, sort of three days on it. Um, so yeah, I think they've, they've passed halfway. So, you know, let's hope that there's a bit of a bonus in it for them and that it comes, you know, it comes out on budget so what i'm going to do now is we've got a couple of jobs going up we've got an extension that we're going to start and i'm going to work backwards from the price that i've um estimated and break it down into like um stages and i'm not sure how to do it because i've got to make sure that the company's making money that i'm making money but that it's fair on the lads so I'm thinking like a percentage wise if it did like let's just say it costs um, £1,500 square metre if I 
did that, work backwards from that and worked it out and said right each stage is going to cost this but maybe if I take off like a percentage of like profit for the company and then divide it up for the lads and say look anything below that you, you can split between his pro rata maybe that's the way I do it from now on and it gives the lads a bit of an incentive each week each day to go or each milestone to go right bang done I don't know what to do it weekly or milestone because if I do it weekly it's like they might not have hit a milestone so they might not get it till the next one but then if I do it milestone they might just rush jobs on a Friday to try and hit the milestone or you know not do things properly uh, that's, the, that's the only problem with it it's gone back to like price and day rate day rate as I've seen people slowing down and not doing things with price people rush it and make mistakes and try and cover stuff up say um, but yeah let me sit down and see if I can work out a system that's fair but I think that works out well if I give a price to the job to the customer take off like the company profit say and then divide the job up into milestones and say right if you use it that milestone then 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 obviously anything else goes into the kitty and gets divided pro rata and whether they do that per milestone or per year or per job I don't know because it's just more work for me otherwise if I start if I start doing it weekly or per milestone it's, it's more work for me if anyone's got any ideas comments I'm all ears because you know if there's a way of doing this to motivate the lads and the company grows and you know we can take more jobs on and it works it's a good formula i'm all for it right if you are enjoying the channel please do subscribe and if i get another call out and this isn't the end of the video i'll just cut it but if not please subscribe So, I forgot I got some stickers made. And I'm just going past, um, would you believe it, that my house is right next to uh, every trade, uh, one of every trade's jobs. Oh, it's actually Alex's one. So, I keep thinking, oh, I'll put a sticker on here. I'll put a sticker on his sign so he sees it. Oh, it's got it quite high up though. There we go. Oh, I need a bigger sticker, don't I? Definitely will see that or not. <laughs> he might, he might, uh, he might end up seeing it on my my channel rather than uh, on the actual board. But that's a new board they've put up, so maybe maybe he hasn't filmed it yet. He might come to film it and see how oh, there's a bloody sticker on it there. Oh, right, that is it for. Uh, Sunday night, I am going home.